greatest way to demonstrate how much music affects movies. Play it absolutely with no music at all. And then go back and do the whole scene again with all the cues. And you'll recognize the absolute brilliance of John Williams. The minute John raises his baton and plays the first theme, you just go, oh my God, here's another one. Star Wars basically would not be Star Wars without Johnny Williams' music. People say, how do you do so much work? I was filled with the love of music and the pleasure of doing it with great musicians. After he does music for my movie, I start to see my movie in his way. The first thing I played for Steven on this piano was this. And I played that for him, he said, what is that? What are you gonna do? <laughs> He's somebody who learned his skills painstakingly. I think people should see somebody who has worked alone in a room for 60 plus years. There's a lot of sacrifices, and I think that he expresses himself through music. Music for musicians is like breathing. It supports us, sustains us, gives us energy. The fact that the same man wrote music for Star Wars, the Olympics, Poseidon Adventure and Earthquake, he always finds a way to tap into the essence of what makes it moving or meaningful. The main reason I think it's important to celebrate him is just to say thank you for that amount of joy. He's always in a process of discovery. He finds a whole new way of telling the story musically each time. It's the purest form of art I've ever experienced from any human being. Music is enough for a lifetime, but a lifetime is not enough for music.